Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel and welcome to another episode of Trade Talk. And it's a big one. It's a big one. I didn't do one for a couple of days because I had a feeling that Friday was going to be a fairly busy day. Um, and so far it's kind of been busy. I mean, one major thing has happened, uh, which I think will then snowball the rest of the stuff and that should hopefully take care of itself maybe today, probably early next week, to be honest. Um, but the first one is Jade Gresham. Uh, has signed for Essendon as a free agent. And that was kind of the one that was the most likely to happen this week, I thought, because we couldn't really do much until we knew really what the compensation from the AFL was going to be in terms of what Gresham was being paid at the Bombers, what his contract was, and whether we wanted to match the bid um, and force a trade, which in the end hasn't happened because the compensation to me, I think, is fair. It, at the moment, it's end of first round pick, which I think at this point is pick 21. So pick 21 for Gresham, and Gresham goes to Essendon on, I think, a four-year contract at roughly 700000 per year. So they're paying him some good money there, um, which now we talk about what do we do with pick 21? Do we try and keep it? Do we try and break it with another club? Or do we just go to Fremantle, who probably wanted a first-round pick for... Um, Liam Henry anyway and say he's pick 21 so essentially you lose Gresham you get Henry we're pretty happy with that I think um, I think we could maybe squeeze it and push it out to a maybe a second rounder but I think Freo we're going to play a bit of hardball just based on what I've read and and how how highly they've rated Liam Henry um, now as I mentioned that's taken care of and I think that opens the door for, for other deals to happen. And another one that we're going to talk about is Nick Caulfield. Uh, there's a bit of work going into that um, at the moment. And Tom Morris came out today and he said, um, in, ex in exchange for Nick Caulfield, the Western Bulldogs will be giving up a pick in the 40s or 50s. That's what he thinks. So it'll be in the pick 40s to 50s, um, which I think is fair. I think if you've got one in the 40s for Nick Caulfield, I think you're probably happy with that. Maybe there's a few other deals, a few other picks you know, being traded. We give a future pick or they give us a future pick as well. But at this point in time, Caulfield to the dogs is looking very likely, pretty clear cut, a pick in the 40s and 50s. At this stage, we may look to use that um, as part of maybe a Paddy Dow deal, throw that in with something else, another pick and get him back. Um, but it really just depends on what, what the Bulldogs and what the club lands on as well. Now, another one that's come up, uh, which I guess hasn't really been talked about, but I've spoken to a few different people and it's on Twitter. Um, and I think it was on trade radio. Will Schofield mentioned this and he would be in the know about this because it's West Coast related and it's Liam Duggan. Now, Liam Duggan's a, a pretty damn good player. Like he had a pretty good, like a pretty good year based on his stats. I'll get them up shortly. Um, I think he's 26 years of age. I think he's out of contract next year. Um, but I've heard a whisper that we might be talking to him. Now, I don't know. I'm still trying to absolutely lock it down. But he's not a bad pickup if we do have something, you know, quietly bubbling along in the background. Um, I think it would suit us very nicely. I think he's a good player. You look at his... You look at his stats here from this year and disposals, elite 23.8, kicks 16.6 a game, elite, uh, above, a, um, above average handballs, uh, elite marks, 7.6 marks per game, which is very good. Tackles, 2.9 per game, uh, above average, meters gained, over 450 meters gained per game, elite. And uh, AFL Fantasy, 96.3, rated elite. Um, and had, I think, 35 disposals against the Bombers. Um he had a very, very good year. 698 meters gained was, a, I think, a, a season high for him against the Bombers. Um, so he had a very good year. You think about West Coast and where they're at and maybe certain players that would be looking elsewhere and maybe, you know, I think he's played over 150 games for West Coast. He's, he's, he's given his all there. Maybe he's looking for a change of scenery. I think a player like him would suit a Ross Lyon team. I think he's quite disciplined. I think he's a good ball user. I mean, he's a, he's a hard nut as well. So Liam Duggan's one that I'm going to keep a close eye on. It might be just an absolute rumor. And that we talk about rumors. This is trade talk. It's also trade rumors. So if there's any little whispers out there, we're going to talk about it, see if there's any sort of legitimacy to it. And to me, it doesn't sound too outlandish that maybe we would be talking to someone like Liam Duggan. To me, he, sound, he seems like a player that Ross Lyon would very happily coach. And 
maybe a player that would be very receptive to, to a coach like Ross Lyon as well. So um, that's one that I'll, I'll keep a close eye on. But the big news from today so far, there might be some more that drops um, in the next hour or two. But at this point in time, Jade Gresham to Essendon, we get pick 21 compensation. Still up in the air with Liam Henry, whether we go to offer them pick 21 or we try and negotiate something else. Nick Hoffield to the Dogs, looking likely in the picks 40s to 50s. Um, Liam Duggan, rumors circulating there. Paddy Dow, another one that I haven't talked about. But I think once we get um, Caulfield and these sort of things rolling, Paddy Dow, I think, will be part of that. A lot of people think that that's going to be sort of a three-way trade. Saints, Carlton, Dogs, and um, Caulfield will move there. We'll get Paddy Dow and Picks will trade all over the place, uh, probably to Carlton, the Dogs as well. So, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot in the works, I'd say, in the next probably hour or two today. And if not, definitely Monday, Tuesday, next week, we'll see some more movement um, from our side. I think we've got a few things bubbling along. Um, and if I hear anything, guys, I'll let you know. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks very much. Comment your thoughts. If you heard anything else or you got any questions or queries, put them in the comments. Like the video and obviously subscribe. Let's hit 8,000 uh, by round one next year. That'd be amazing. We're not far off it. Um, and I'll be back soon for another video. But anyway, take care, Sainers. Enjoy the rest of your week. And make sure you get to the game tomorrow. RCA Park. Um, Saints v GWS, we're going for four in a row, uh, first time in our history. Get down there. Joyce and Marsh, you've got something special bubbling along there in the Moravian Social. So check it out when you can. 105 is the bounce tomorrow. So enjoy your weekend, Sainers. Take care. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys.